Hello everybody, welcome back to Brimple Plays Blackthorn Arena Reforged. This is chapter 1, episode 21. We've got 10 days until the summer games, and we are going to send our whoever's, our less strong people, out on a mission. They need to get us some money. Who was that? Yin de Meng. I like Yin de Meng. I'd like to capture Yin de Meng in a mission sometime, if we can. I don't know where he came from, but obviously, you know, he's under the control of the Wind and Blade Arena right now. Elden. Get out of here. We don't want you, Elden. We want to check what our alchemist has to say. He can make another amnesia potion. That's wonderful. Craft it. And we are going to use that on... Oh, I don't know. Somebody. I should have picked a fight last turn, but... I was too excited thinking about this caravan attack. We probably shouldn't dilly-dally too much anyways. We do want to get the spring games. Not spring games. Gosh. Summer games done this episode. I do like that. I like the new summer games that we have. That'll be very interesting. Jarvis doesn't hit very hard. Well, he, he hit for 70 that time. Well, that time he hit for like over 100 combined, I think. I, I do think he needs a better weapon. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like we're going to find out Katie didn't do too much damage in this fight. Did she, oh, she shot him for 100 right there. 116. There's a ruby! I need one more ruby to craft that two-handed mace. Wouldn't that be something? Back to the treatment room for anybody who is injured. No surprise Francis is. Jarvis, you are so weak, unfortunately. These orcs are not very powerful. We might be able to just go in there and take their money real quick. Well, I know we could. Is it worth it? Level 22s? I don't really want to fight yous. 17s, I think, is fine. In the desert arena, do we want to do that? Why not? Mm-hmm. Do we send Jarvis again? Just to get him to continue to level up? Why not? He's got... Such a bad attitude, though, man. Everyone on my team does. And I'm, I'm really not so sure about his weapon. Even he's not so sure about it. He's also just, again, just really upset, so. You know, again, Adeline's already been out there. Do we send Lynn? I think we should send Adeline instead of Lynn. Only because, again, I believe your people need to be stronger than the champions in the game. And we're not going to get there if we're sending Lin out every fight instead of our gladiators. Ad Adeline has bad armor now compared to everyone else, however. We do need to get her a better set of gear. Would it be veteran, gladiator veteran gear that we build for her or champion? I don't know. 
This guy is sick, man. He is just sick. Look at the way he rips them up and he dodges everyone's attacks. Shoe Fei, man. If the shoe fates, wear it. Oh, just... Oh, my God. He's unreal. If they don't knock him down to start with, he just, like, rips them up. 911 damage. Hmm. He's a terrorist. But at least he's on our team. Okay, let's read what Abu has to say here. It's just challenging. Okay, can you tell me more about the Summer Games? They're held at the end of Honeybrook and the beginning of fall each year thanks to Oram, the Lord of Summer, for his gifts throughout the season and to implore mercy of Outram, the Lord of Fall. Hmm. Ultimate challenge, wow. Well, you know we're going to choose to face the ultimate challenge if we make it to the end of the Summer Games. Wouldn't we be foolish not to? Just seems that way. I don't have... I don't have what it takes to make any epic weaponry. Gosh, I don't even have the requisite smithing skill. You need ten smithing, I have nine. Wow. I am a loser. And we got a we got an early start on smithing, I feel. So the fact that we are not incredible at it is something. And truthfully, again, I see now that we should have been cooking this whole time. And we really should have, you know, to something to keep our morale up. Because everybody is so pissed. Everybody is so mad. Four days until the summer games. Okay. Do I just skip ahead? Do I go to the market right now? What am I going to do? I've got five gold. I'm going to the market. We'll get a ruby. Build a mace. It won't be done in time for the summer games, but... We want it. Ah, no rubies, huh? Well, we could get other gems and we may as well you never know if we need if we're going to need these or not they don't cost too much money anyways okay should we go here and get a cook if we're already here let's just see if we can get someone who's like a cook three no they don't have one okay let's get out of here gosh it sure would be nice if we did though We've got to do something to get our morale up because everybody being so pissed lowers their stats so much. Is every is you know, is everybody partially upset because I'm just ignoring their squabbles? Do I need to like punish people or something? Take this What the heck? I'm assuming that was Galu. All right, let's skip ahead to the summer games here. We have to ignore you. We have to look at the slave driver's slaves to see if he has a really good cook. He doesn't. Get out of here. We don't care about anything you've got if you don't have a great cook. Wow, permanent strength potion. We'd love to craft that. What does it take to craft that? But I'm 
miss it? Oh, it's down here. Huh. Alright. It takes a lot of these spirit of the earths to craft the good stuff. Now there's an interesting fight, huh? And the summer games are tomorrow, I believe. Next turn. Let's leave immediately. Is this our A-team? I forgot about Sam. Sam has the Blackthorn armor. He should be in there. Now, gosh. Katie does hit really hard. Well, I don't know. I think this is who we're sending. Sam, what can we do for you to make you more powerful? You're not a berserker. That kind of sucks. I guess we'll give you that stance that makes you do more damage. And if you hit more people, you will do more damage as well. We need to spend Lin's points, I guess. Do we? We should. Again, this is the summer games. Everybody is sending their best, and so we should be ready. May as well do that. More strength never hurt. Okay, here we go, the summer games. We're sending out Galu, Shufei, Lin, and Sam with backups Katie and Adeline. I don't know about Lin. Like I'm sending in Lin because of that flow attack. What is that called? Yeah, flow slash that hits many targets. That attack is so good, I think, that I'd like her to be in there when we have, I think, such a weak team, really. I don't know. We may end up taking her out. There's AoE. Slora Carefree, I think, will mop up these losers. Kiara. Okay. This is cool. This reminds me of Gordas's Trials. I should try and bet on every fight. What if I win every bet? Phase all of the Blood Sand Arena. This is cool, man. Shout with glee at the sight of blood and the deafening cries of pain. But let us not forget our ancient and sacred traditions. Okay. The Twin Lords. Yes, that's right. The Lord of Summer, Oram, and the Lord of Autumn, Otranto. Now they're starting to bring in the Goddess of Winter. Talking about that, huh? 
Alianus will guide them to victory in the battlefield. Gordus to grant them inexhaustible courage. I'm, I'm liking who we're bringing in, lore-wise. And we're going to watch the... Um, we are going to watch these fights, because I like to watch the champions fight people. Annie is one of the new people. She's a new champion. And she's one of the pirates. Oh, this is cool. We have to see this. Oh, and they have Izayoi or whatever. Hmm. Annie. Oh. Wow. <laughs> they got smoked. I was watching Annie the whole time. I I didn't really. I mean, I saw this happen over here. Why are you in such awful armor? What? You guys were destined to lose because you have awful armor and everything. Lauren is also not as good as Herencia. Herencia is a better archer. I chose Alistor here. Because I thought her team would have better gear on the backup side. But I don't know. I really like the new Battle Monk abilities, too. I really like their big jump that you have to invest all the points to get. That is very cool. Oh, look at the three of them take out Caleb over here. Is that going to work out for them? Ooh. They took out Master Varen, though. Oh, and Lizbeth Butcher. You know she hits hard. That was sick. Alright, so the team that I thought would win did win because they had great backup. Wow, Master Varen, his team lost two people in that. I can't see the team with the Cobra winning here. I just don't see the Cobra being as relevant in Reforged as opposed to the original. Slore Carefree is one heck of a tank. Am I going to lose this? Slora's entire team got slaughtered while he was... I mean, he's lived through everything, but he's not damaged anybody else to any significant degree. He's super tanky, that's all. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, he's damage sponge. He just doesn't hurt anybody. And once Durham got behind him, it was all over. He put up a really good fight, though, you gotta admit. He put up a great fight. Slora did. Look, I guess it's not over. I guess he, he, could, he might... What the hell? He just... Did he just, like, 1v4 at the end? Is that... Did he really just do that? That's crazy. He saved my money. That sucks. I did not want to hit continue. I did want to read that dialogue. I messed that up. Okay. We can beat the Ronin camp. They left. They accidentally left two people... Oh, never mind. I was going to say inside of there. They got stuck behind that wall, but never mind. Dude, this guy is... I know I keep saying that. 
open because it's true. Yeah, I guess kill them. For 12 favor? Is that worth it? I wonder if we should take out Shu Fei. In order to keep him healthy enough to fight in every round. No, he'll heal in between rounds. Okay, we bet. We had to have bet on Kiara over Jack Gouger. Jack Gouger was always weak, but maybe, maybe rogues are something to be feared. We'll see. Oh, he's going for Kiara now, is he? No, he's not. But Kiara's deadly. She won't focus on Jack. I want to see her go for Jack and see them duke it out. Jack is gonna win! No way! Holy smokes! I lost my money on that one, too. Jack Gouger beating Kiara. That's like Stellar and beating me. It can happen. Now, it used to be that you would see, at least in the demo, someone with a red eye didn't necessarily do a wheel, but I think that was just a bug. And I think, um... They do stick to their archetype now, in every way, I believe. Did I bet on Stellarm? I did. Oh, man. That's the second fight I lost money on. I would have expected the champion to pull through there. Whose picture up here changed? Was that you, Ahab? Who did I bet on here? I must have bent on bet on T. Flint. Because he's the king of Pirate Island. Isn't he? Is he the king? He's got a cool pirate outfit. He didn't hit that guy very hard. And then he got hit pretty hard. He's getting fucked up. Pardon my French. Okay, okay. He got bailed out, though. What's going on with the red team here? Oh, he's the red team. Good for them. And totally we expect to win. Because he's a champion and they're not champions. Has that worked out for us so far? No, not necessarily. Wow, we're on minute 24 of this episode. Are we gonna have to speed it up? We may have to. Maybe this will just be a longer episode. Of course, Tully has a backup archer on his team in Lano. They're good archers, though. That was sick. OK, 
Okay, all right, they got him. Next round, uh, we're betting on T Flint. It's a because it's a four v three. Jack, are we gonna bet on you, Jack Gadger? I mean, I don't know. I think we're gonna bet against you. No, we'll bet on you. We'll bet on you. We should. That's disrespectful. We shouldn't. We shouldn't disrespect Jack Gouger. And we have to bet on Herencia. I'm worried about our our team against Slora Carefree. Just what if he ends up tanking up all this damage, and our team gets distracted and ends up getting killed? Could be bad, that's all I'm saying. I don't think he's a yoy. I don't know how to say that name. That's, that's how I say it. I don't think he's a yoy is great, but... Uh, well, maybe I was wrong. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure who did all the damage there. That was surprising how quickly some people fell, though. Hopefully, I can crush this... T oh, look, they have that two-handed mace that I want so badly. What's up with the circle around this guy? May the twin lords accept their blood and bless us all. Ooh, the stun's not... <coughs> not good. Man, he's jumping on him like Koopa. Let's do this. My people have mana all of a sudden. That was interesting. And we will kill your team, Slora. Because we can. This guy is so cool. Again, I don't know why he... I don't know why he has a circle around him all of a sudden. No! Oh, he's... that's not my team. Still stable. 51%, huh? Alright, let's see how they do against... Some random nobodies. These nobodies ripped up somebody to get here. Jack got messed up just coming over here. Another one of his red team buddies just got knocked down. Even if you take down Jack, you have to fight Marietta. And you have these two over here, Ricardo. I should have bet against Jack. I should have disrespected him. He got beat by the nobodies. I hope I don't get beat by the nobodies. I also hope that we can keep Shu Fei healthy enough to fight through the finals. They will feel okay, that had to be the outcome. can't bet against yourself in a situation like this and I am going to bet on T Flint again he hasn't let me down yet Perenzi is powerful man and Yiza Yoi maybe I underestimated her maybe that's a mistake I don't know I, I saw some people die around her pretty quickly 
But I too have a Ronin, a very powerful Ronin. So we'll see what happens. Sick. Those, those hops are just sick. And I'm killing your team, huh? I hope you're not disabled from this fight. You're critical. But that means that you can fight in the next round. In the finals. We are going to the finals of the Summer Games. That's exciting. T. Flint, man. Pirate Lord. Look at him. I guess he was successful in his war prosecuting the fishermen of Pirate Island. It wasn't always called Pirate Island, by the way. You'll find that out if you play Age of Reforging. Go do the quest. T. Flint, you've been knocked down, but your team will avenge you. And now it's my team versus the Flintster. Shufei, I am so thankful you had just enough health to participate in this final round. No doubt, you must have severe attribute negatives as a result of uh, joining the fight with such low HP, though. Hopefully his team does, too. T. Flint, I didn't check. Oh, yeah. Jump on those hands, dude. Unreal, dude. Shufei is just unreal. So sick. So sick. T. Flint, very cool guy as well. And even if the crowd wanted T. Flint to die, we would have chose Liv, because we love T. Flint. Good for us. And we have to accept the ultimate challenge. And Nil Master Spaghetti Master is the ultimate winner. A mysterious surprise. The final challenge. A fearsome base beast waiting in its cage beneath the arena. Wow. Do we accept the challenge? Yes, we have to accept it. What kind of great reward could this bring us? A manticore, huh? The most dangerous beast in the world. Wow, look at that thing. Chop off all three of the monster's heads to the ground. I only see one up here, but maybe I'm missing something. Oh man, that AoE attack from the Manticore was something nasty. Oh, but we did it! We won! Look at that! How awesome! Not only did we win the, the Summer Games in our first game of Blackthorn Arena Reforged, but we won the final challenge as well. How awesome. How very cool. We won Champion Light Gear for that and an Epic Longbow. That kind of sucks. I guess we could give the light gear to um, Katie. So it's not the worst thing in the world. It's 
going on here? Holy smokes. Genius Gladiator Master. Wow. People are definitely preferring Blackthorn Arena so far, Abu. I'm not already starting behind my opponents. We are smoking them. The day before the final vote. Okay, we're still doing the Grand Venations. That's cool. Now get out of here, Abu. We have to ignore our people fighting. We have to put people into treatment. And we have to end this episode. And so, thank you so much to everybody who has watched us. I appreciate it. It was cool to see that Summer Games. It's cool to see our new hero champion here, Shu Fei. We are really having a lot of fun watching him. Um, and again, I just appreciate all the kind words that you've been leaving on the videos. That's really nice of you. So, see you around. Bye-bye.